Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Guess who is back? <laughs> Maria is back. Yes, you guys obviously loved her so much that people insisted that she makes a return <laughs> for more shooting fun. So Maria, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you. I'm very happy to be back and um, to do some more archery and maybe even make something else. I'm excited and I think it's gonna be fun. Okay, so last time that was just right before the lockdown, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess you haven't done any archery since, right? <laughs> no, after that it was pretty boring, no archery months, so yeah. Okay, <laughs> so today I have a whole lot of things to do for you. So we will do, I will show you my latest uh, stuff that have, you know you, you did not see previously because it's new. Mm -hmm. uh, so you will get to shoot them and I'd love to hear what you think about it. And then we will also do some slingshot shooting because we didn't shoot any slingshots last time. Since this is still the slingshot channel, we have to do slingshot shooting. Exactly. And then, but I will also give you some crossbows. You know, one that is propelled by air and one that is just a regular but repeating crossbow. It's really popular right now. And um, then, in the very end, you will also get to shoot full auto. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, folks, uh, you know that Maria has an Instagram and last time you've been really great. I mean, your, your Instagram jumped from 600 to 3,000 Yeah, 3,500. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, thanks so much for nice words and kind messages. I really appreciate that. That was unexpected and really nice. And one of the things that we will do is we will also take tons of photos of Maria with all kinds of weapons. <laughs> and then Maria will slowly post one after the other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to see them, I encourage you to subscribe to her Instagram. And you will find the link down there as normal. Okay, Maria, should we jump just in? Yes, okay. let's do it. <laughs> All right, and we will start with archery. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this crazy thing. <laughs> you remember the Mongolian bow that you shot yeah. last time. And we already had the magazine attached to it. Mm -hmm. So you first shot it without the magazine and then with the magazine. But now it has another bow mounted to the front. Mm -hmm. And this bow actually is a draw assistance. So this okay. means that now you have to push it in first against the resistance of this bow and then this bow will help you drawing it back so that drawing the bow out will be far easier so you can take much more time to aim and so on. Okay. I'll show you. So first you push this in until it locks in place and then you see that this bow actually helps you drawing it out. It's already almost fully drawn out. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is draw it out a little bit further like so mm -hmm. and you can really do this with one finger. Very easy. So, um, and then of course you still have the red dot sight, uh, which makes it for me super easy to shoot and hit with it. Very, very easy. Yeah, it looks easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, it does take some practice. Okay. You want to have a go? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's, it's yours. And go. Push in all the way. Harder, 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 harder. Yes. Yeah. Go out. Yeah. Again, again. Yeah, see how easy it is now to, to hold it? Yeah. Very, very easy. You're doing great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. And one more. She actually just hit an arrow that was already in the target. Wow, that's a group. <laughs> Amazing. Thank Let me you. show you. Let me show you her group. I'm not going to cut this so that you don't not going to say that I've cheated. See? <laughs> not bad for such a quick, quick repetition. So of course what I did is I shortened the draw length of this thing for Maria uh, since she's obviously shorter than I am. So this means that I shorten it. I would usually draw it out much more far and then I would also use the front position for the front bow so that it helps me a little bit more but but you did great you did Thank great you. so so maria tell me how does it feel in comparison yes you still remember the first setup right yeah uh so it's a bit uh harder to bring it uh to the front but still Obviously. it's like doable not too hard and then uh yeah, it's very easy to draw it back and uh yeah just that it's a bit heavier but apart from that, it's quite convenient and uh, easy. Okay. So if you would have the choice, would you much rather shoot it in this setup or in the original setup without the front bow? 
Um, I think with this one. Okay. Well, you don't have to say that, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, no, I mean, I, I really think so. Like from what I remember, I think that time yeah, it was like really hard to draw it back. I was struggling and yeah, now, I mean, it's hard to hold it, but uh, overall, like it's easier. Yeah. Well, so great. Maria likes it. Hey, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so next we have this beautiful thing. Wow. It's called the sliding Legolini. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, this is because it's like a mini bow. Mm -hmm. It's propelled by rubber. So yeah. this is uh, basically a slingshot, some kind of. And uh, I made it in wood, but then uh, Lukasz Jankowski, uh, a great designer from Poland, uh, actually made it in a 3D printable format. And I think it's one of the coolest things that you can do with a 3D printer. Yeah. Since it is a fully functional repeating bow uh, with actually six shots in the magazine. So it's really, really cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me show you how it works. You have two aiming devices. You have this laser here mm -hmm. and you have the red dot. So you have both. The red dot usually is better when in bright, like in bright sunlight. And the laser, of course, is good when it's not so bright. Mm -hmm. And it's even easier to aim because you don't have to find the aim point. Okay. So what you do is you actually draw it out like so. And then you take aim and shoot. And then you can repeat. Very quickly if you want. Nice. <laughs> nice. So, you want to give it a try? Sure. I'll retrieve the arrows. Okay. <laughs> Have a go. Okay. <laughs> Draw out until it locks. And yes. Enough it? Yes. Bang. Do it again. Yeah. This is the hardest rubber that you can get for it, so uh, it will be very easy to make a layer, but then it's not as powerful anymore. <laughs> yeah, 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 great, you're doing great. <laughs> yeah, that's it, you okay. fired all the shots. <laughs> wow. Very cool and very accurate. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think about this sliding Legolini? Well, it looks kind of as small as it is if it's made for kids, but actually, yeah, it's quite powerful. It's not easy to, to hold it a bit, but um, yeah, uh -huh. I think it's uh, much more fun and like, easier with the laser. And yeah. The laser effective. is a great advantage, isn't it? Yeah. So this is more like a, I would say it's in between a toy and a weapon, right? <laughs> it's really not as dangerous as a full bow, of course. Although for the short size, it has serious power. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I actually think it's a very, very cool toy and uh, with lighter rubber, it's actually also really, really fun to shoot it in front of the television. <laughs> you know, set up a box full with old t-shirts to the side and when it's boring in the TV, you go ting, 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 ting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> so in comparison to the first one, how, how does it compare? Uh, you mean to the previous one? Uh, well, I think yeah, it's easier because uh, I have the laser, so it's easier to aim. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I like that it's more like compact size, so it doesn't feel like too like overwhelming to hold it. You know, like you just have like more control over it. I think. But it's harder to draw, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is some kind of a strain a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go to the next one, the Fenris. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys are all waiting for it, and we actually have started to ship it. So the first uh, 94 customers will soon have their numbered first production run piece in their hands. So uh, let me let me bring it out. This is it, the legendary Fenris. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually a Fenris is actually a wolf from Norse mythology. Okay. It's actually the wolf that at Ragnarök the end of days is gonna eat all the gods, including Odin, the mm. Allfather. <laughs> but this is not gonna eat you, so I promise. Hopefully. <laughs> it's actually the first commercial product based on my repeating uh, technology. So it works very much like the prototypes that you've shot before. Mm -hmm. But of course, it's a lot more accurate, but it is also heavier because it's made from CNC machined uh, aircraft grade aluminum. So uh, it will be heavier. Uh, obviously you might you know have a struggle a little bit with that I adjusted the bow so that actually the draw length is now really short I hope that it's gonna fit for you and also I adjusted the power so that this is reasonable mm -hmm. so you should not have too many problems drawing it out and like, of course if I would tune it in all the way you could actually hunt big game with it but 
-hmm. We're not going to do that today. <laughs> so, so, but again, what you do is you also have this little device here. See, mm -hmm. this pretty much it looks like a trigger, but it isn't. This is actually a holder that makes it easier to hold the draw, uh, to hold the bow, the bow in the fully drawn out condition. So again, you shift it to the front until it, it actually grabs the string. Then you draw it out, but you keep your index finger pointed towards the target, mm -hmm. like so, until it hits the limit. And then you curl your index finger around it, so you can hold it. You don't even have to hold it here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you hold it in both hands, you have super uh, high control about it. And then you just do what you always do with a bow like this. You aim and shoot. And do it again. This again is very easy to, to cock now. At least it is for me. So, mm -hmm. And you have five shots total. Think. <laughs> and if it's empty, it automatically catches it. So you cannot shoot this without an arrow in it. Okay. Just to get it out of the way. Like so. Mm -hmm. You want to try? Sure. I'll bring the arrows. <laughs> okay, do the first one slowly. Keep your index finger out. Mm -hmm. Right? Now curl it around. Exactly. Right. Aim with this thing and shoot. Yeah. Okay. And then bring it way to the front again. That's great. Yeah. And again. I can already see it's a little, it's a little heavy for you, is it not? Yes, it is. But it feels more precise, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Seems like it's a good workout for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Great. So now you see that it catches the string and that you cannot uh, load it again. Mm -hmm. So this is to avoid that you actually accidentally shoot it without an arrow, because that could actually damage the bow. Oh. And the energy would all be, have to be kind of eliminated by the bow limbs, and they can actually break because of that. Mm -hmm. So they need an arrow to transfer the energy into the shot. Uh, and therefore, we have this mechanism that pre prevents you from shooting it empty. Mm -hmm. So how does it feel? Wow, it feels really professional, to be honest. Like. Um yeah, of course heavy, but um, yeah, I think if you practice more, then it will be easier because it's a bit uh, unusual kind of workout. Yeah, um, yeah, but. But you also felt that it has a lot more power than the yeah. than the, uh, the prototype models, right? Exactly. Yeah, it was very. <laughs> yeah, this like is the weakest thing. setting that you can tune the bow. Actually, mm -hmm. you can attach this to pretty much any bow. So if you want a weaker bow, that is absolutely possible, mm -hmm. because the fenris is sold separately so that you can attach it to any bow on the market, even a youth bow, you know, a bow for kids. But this, of course, is a bow for uh, grown people, <laughs> so uh, and for hunters. So this means that uh, this is a very serious bow. But you did great. Thank uh, you. So, all right. That is the archery part. So what comes after the archery part? The crossbow part. Want to shoot some crossbows? Wow, you're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Maria, you know what this is? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> this actually is probably the best-selling crossbow product in, uh, in the year 2020 and probably also 2021. Wow. <laughs> we sold so many. We're actually bringing them in from uh, by the container. We have sold many, many thousands already and actually it's, it's impossible to get this product in stock. Every time the new container comes in, it's completely pre-sold. We are now still taking orders for the September shipment. Uh, we just finished uh, shipping out the June shipment, so uh, so everybody is absolutely crazy for this crossbow. In this case, for you, I put on the lighter bow, because normally this has 130 pounds of a draw, and this one only has 90 pounds. It's still a super deadly weapon. It's a repeating crossbow, so this means you don't have to put in the arrows one after the other, much like the, the bows that we shot. This has a magazine, so you only have to cock the weapon and then aim and shoot. Okay. And I'm going to show this to you. If you step aside a little bit. Mm -hmm. You have to treat this with the same respect as like a firearm. So there are some basic rules that you probably are not familiar with, so I'm going to explain this to you slowly. First thing is we have to cock it. And for this reason, we first have to press on this latch here, 
so that we can move the arm to the front. And you do this all the way until you can't draw it out any further. Then you take this, this thing here into the hollow of your palm mm -hmm. and press it back. And in the end, you just do it with a little bit of speed mm -hmm. so that it locks in place firmly. And now you can set on the red dot light and you aim with it just much like with a rifle. So this means you press the stock into your shoulder here. Uh, make sure that you get, keep your index finger straight until the very moment where you want to shoot, where you have sighted everything in, so you're aiming at exactly the spot that you want to hit. Otherwise, what you can do is you can put, actually, you can put the finger a little bit up here. Mm. But don't touch the trigger before you're ready to shoot. Very important. Otherwise, I can already hear everybody howling. So, <laughs> first, then you have the auto safety. So this means after you've cocked the weapon, it will be automatically put on safety. So you cannot really shoot. If you want to shoot, you first bring it over to the target, and then you push the safety to the front, then you aim very carefully, and when you're ready, then you touch the trigger and shoot. Mm -hmm. And then you repeat the whole process. <laughs> Sound fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try slowly at first. Okay. Your weapon, madam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So press here. Right. Yeah. Then bring it all the way to the front. More, more, more. Yes. Right. Now with a little bit of speed. Okay, go get, go get. Yeah. <laughs> like normal. Okay. Okay. Bring it to the shoulder. Exactly. Hold it maybe on the front, right? Mm -hmm. Keep your index finger straight, exactly. Then the safety. Shift it to the front, exactly. Now aim. Oh, and no, don't touch the trigger before you're really ready for it. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm ready. And then fire. <laughs> Bang! Right into the middle. Oh. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> Nach vorne. Okay, jetzt zu. Ja, okay. that was pretty good. <laughs> okay. Right, against the shoulder. Exactly. Finger straight. You're doing great. Then safety. Carefully aim. And fire. Bang. Great. Now, Maria has actually to, has to master a challenge. And it's gonna be tough because I'm gonna put an empty dog food can for you up there and you have to hit it and you have five shots in the magazine. So you have to uh, hit it. And the earlier you hit, you hit it, the better it is. And then I will try to do the same with my crossbow, which is basically the same model, just with a little bit different modifications but I will not shoot from 10 meters, I will try to hit it from 50 meters, wow. which is really right at the limit of the range of this crossbow. Okay. So it is possible that I'm not going to man manage it at all. So it's a real challenge for both of us. <laughs> Want to do it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, Maria, there is your dog food can. It's full with water. Empty it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Remember, first the safety. Weißt du noch, wo die Sicherung ist? Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, okay. Take careful aim. Oh, wow. First attempt. Yay. First shot, she got it. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Amazing. I'm not going to do that from this distance. I mean, but I will try. I will try to hit it. Okay. I promise. <laughs> okay. This is my weapon. My weapon is a little different to the one that Maria shot because I have the uh, normal 130 pound bow that the weapon usually comes with uh, because of the longer distance. I also have uh, attached a short um, a magnifying telescope. So this actually magnifies everything twice since the red dot would completely cover the entire target. So red dots on 50 meters is kind of a stupid idea. <laughs> so Maria, you want to try to look through the telescopic side and Tell us if you think it's an easy shot. Okay. 
Okay, bring it to your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Okay. So can you see the target? No, now I just see the trees. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I see it now. It's rather what small, is isn't it? Yeah. And you just the slightest shake and you won't hit it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the trick is you have to have to shake, and in the right moment you have to pull the trigger, <laughs> and actually hope, uh, you know, hope that you that you hit it eventually. So it's a very hard shot, but uh, maybe I can even come close. Otherwise, well, let's go for it. Yes, <laughs> I believe in you. Come on. Okay. Wouldn't be much of a problem sitting down with a table, but I don't have that luxury today. No, I hit the mat, mm -hmm. but not the can. Number two, not a hit. Three more. I'm starting to be slightly pessimistic. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. No, one, one last shot. Come on. <laughs> no, I didn't hit it. <laughs> so I officially declare Maria to be the winner of the contest. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was very hard, but um, I hope that I came close. Let's see. We'll have the other camera on the target. Okay, they're all on the target, <laughs> mm -hmm. but in fact. These three have been too much to the right, and these here have been too high. So why couldn't I have done it just right to hit it here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, I have to say it was a hard shot, and I would have been really happy if I would have made it, but I did not. Anyway, mm -hmm. so the adder, what do you think about that one? Well, I think it's great. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of things you have to think about, uh, you know, to pull it in front, then back, and then the um, security thing. Uh, safety, it's called a safety. <laughs> <laughs> safety. <laughs> Close, but not quite. <laughs> um, yes, but uh, it's uh, really easy to hit the target, so it's effective, as, um, at least from my distance. Of course, York was uh, shooting from much further distance, so... Uh, uh, no excuse, I was just not having a good day, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, but overall, I think it's a great thing. Okay, well, yeah, I noticed that you have some kind of trouble to get this shooting sequence down, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course you could also see that you were struggling a little bit with the lock part mostly, yeah. right? Since of course it's under a lot of strain when you do this. But then um, that's what I think. I actually think that the repeating bows are actually easier to learn uh, mm -hmm. just because it's not so complicated. You just push and pull and that's pretty much it. And here you have to do a few more things. Yeah. And also a lot of people actually tune the uh, safety because it is possible to uh, convert this automatic safety into a manual safety so mm -hmm. that you can put it on safety, but normally it is not on safety. This uh, eliminates one step in here, you know. Mm. But you're also effectively learning a little bit about uh, firearm safety, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which usually That's is useful. like a, a three-day course or something, I don't know. <laughs> because this pretty much behaves like a firearm, uh, like a repeating firearm. It's just you have to invest more muscle energy, but the shot sequence is kind of similar. Mm -hmm. So. Anyway, the error actually is available in our store and um, actually there is now a US distributor yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from California. Actually, uh, Matt, uh, my new business partner in the US, is bringing them in and he will start with the September shipment. So uh, this actually means that you can buy it directly in the US so you don't have to go through like transportation worries and there's no hustle with uh, hustle with the uh, customs so you don't really have to, to to make anything special you can just order it on matt's website at gogun.co not com it's .co so if you're in uh, europe or elsewhere in the world but just not north america <laughs> you can still order it from gogun.de and if you're in north america means in canada or mexico or in the us you can order it from matt at gogun.co okay now things are getting serious because this is the FX Indie Arrow. It actually looks like a mixture between a crossbow and an air gun, mm -hmm. which is exactly what it is. Wow. So this one actually shoots the arrows with compressed air. Mm -hmm. 
So as you see, there is this small little launch tube here. It's a steel tube mm -hmm. and it is hollow. And um, there is pressure in the chamber. As you can see, there is a little ah, pressure okay. gauge here. And currently it says it's about at 170 bar, which is around 3000 PSI. And there is an integrated pump into this thing. You hold the arrow for me. Mm -hmm. So if you want to pump it up, you swing up this lever here mm -hmm. and then you pump and it's actually very easy. You just have to pump about 10 times for each shot. Mm -hmm. And once it's full, you can do four shots at full power. Okay. And how to do that is you open up the lock, but you don't completely open it. Just only so that it's here in, in a relaxed condition. Mm -hmm. Then you put the arrow over this and slide it down like so. Then you turn towards the target. Now you cock it all the way and push the lever back to the front mm -hmm. so it's closed. I switch on the right dot side here. Okay. Then you take aim and then you. Wow, wow, it's very loud. <laughs> and the power is, is incredible. Yeah. It's a really powerful air gun. It has about 100 joule. Now this model actually may stay legal and uh, so you can own it without a permit in Germany after the change of the gun laws, which is going to happen September 1st, so in just about a few weeks, um, where the normal versions, you know, you can keep them as long as you buy them before the September 1st in Germany, but afterwards you will need a permit, like a gun permit. But we are actually having this one investigated by the highest German gun authority, the BKA, uh, because we think, because this is still muscle powered, you can't hook up a bottle, you can't hook up a compressor. This may actually stay unregulated in Germany, even though it's really powerful and super, super accurate. <laughs> okay, but first I would like to show you how to pump it up so that everybody knows that you can do it as well. Okay, small explanation for the German. Uh, for the Germans in German. <laughs> also, liebe Leute, das hier ist die FX Indie Arrow. Da haben wir im Moment nur Einzelstücke von. Wir haben davon welche machen lassen, weil wir dem BKA ein Muster übergeben haben, mit der Bitte, einen Feststellungsbescheid zu erstellen. Denn am 1.9. werden ja die anderen Pfeilabschussgeräte BBK-pflichtig. Also, wer noch eine haben will, das ist jetzt die absolut letzte Chance. Wir haben vielleicht noch 30 Stück am Lager oder so. Danach sind sie ausverkauft und kommen auch nicht mehr rein. Das gute Stück hier könnte es aber eventuell schaffen, weil wir versuchen, das als Armbrust eingestuft zu bekommen, weil es ja nur mit Muskelkraft gespannt werden kann. Hier kann man keinen Kompressor, keine Flasche anschließen, sondern man muss die eingebaute Pumpe nehmen. Wenn uns das gelingt, dann werden wir davon sicher Tausende verkaufen, weil das ein super Teil ist und ich mag sogar, dass es vollkommen unabhängig ist, dass man halt keine Pumpe mit schleppen muss und keine Flasche, sondern dass man alles hier eingebaut hat. Naja, ich werde euch auf dem Laufenden halten. I only have one chair, so now I have to do the unthinkable thing. I have to sit down while the lady stands. <laughs> so the idea is that you sit down and if you're a hunter, you're maybe in a tree stand. And now you swing out the arm, like all the way, and then you bring it down again and you don't have to close it all the way, just so that it, your fingers touch the uh, stock of the weapon. And then you pump, like so. And when you're ready, you simply close it and you've done your job. Ten pumps per shot and um, you can do uh, four shots with full power. You want to try? Yes, of course. Have a seat. Here is the gun. Mm -hmm. Swing it out, all the way, and then you bring it down again. Yes, a little harder. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I wasn't supposed to be okay. moving. Yeah. One, one more time. Okay, okay. Swing it down. Stronger. <laughs> As you see, it's not super easy, but I think with a little bit better technique, she's gonna uh, learn it quickly. Can I do it with both hands? You so can do it with both hands. Like so. Okay. Again, with both hands. Yeah, swing out with one hand, I think. Yeah. And then bring it down with both. So, yeah, that would be your technique. <laughs> and of course, when it's, once it's getting at the, towards the limit, then you would see that it is actually getting a little bit harder. But you don't have to pump it up all the way. Okay. Now close the lever with the flat palm, right? Now you've done it. Okay. You want to fire it? Of course. <laughs> so I've put the arrow on it. 
have not yet cocked it. Here is your weapon, madam. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you bring it to the shoulder. Keep the finger straight and never yeah. touch the trigger. Now you have to cock it all the way. So bring your hand over here and pull it back, back, and now push it all the way to yeah. the close position. Exactly. Yeah. Now keep your index finger straight. Aim at the dog food can. Mm -hmm. Take careful aim. And then fire. Oh, oh. I think it was a little low. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll try it again. <laughs> Cock the entire thing all the way. Right? Push it to the front. Careful aim. Ah, a little bit too high. Oh, okay. One more. So now you open the lock. Yes, but not all the way. Just put it here. Mm -hmm. Now, put the arrow in for you. All the way. Okay. Now you got it, I think. Yeah, you hit it. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> what do you think about this one? Oh, it's very powerful and loud. Like my ears are still a bit uh, like stuck. <laughs> um, okay, or <all>. yeah. Right. <laughs> but it's um, yeah quite um, easy to aim. Like it's effective in that way. And um, how 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 do you think the trigger is different to the crossbows? Yeah, because it has like three dots. And oh, that's, that's why the you aiming system. The trigger is more like... Uh, ah, no, okay. Because this one, of course, has a hair trigger. So it only has like 300 grams of a trigger resistance. Mm -hmm. This means you only have to touch the trigger and then the shot yeah. will fall. Yeah, Did, very slightly. Was that mm -hmm. different towards, you know, in comparison to the crossbows? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. you touch it just a little bit and then Achoo. the power <laughs> comes and... But it was loud, right? In yeah. comparison. Of course, it's not nearly as loud as a firearm. But of course, if we would have been shooting with a firearm, she would have had her ear protection on, right? So but, uh, this is really not that loud. Uh, but I guess that if you're just not used to it, and all we did is shooting very silent weapons like crossbows and bows, that is a difference. Yeah, so, it's uh, different. And it's also a really powerful uh, air gun. This achieves about 100 joules, so about 80 foot-pounds of energy. This is enough to kill really big game with, with this thing. So, and I love it because it is so independent. <laughs> okay, so these are Rambone slingshots. Actually, Rambone 2.0, as you can see, because they have the clips to attach the bands. And as you see, this is, these are the same models. Actually, one is red and one is white. You can also get them in olive green and black and even transparent. But um, otherwise, they are identical. Still, this one is set up for me and this one is set up for her. The same slingshot. It's like one size fits all. <laughs> <laughs> so this means that, let's just hold it in your hand. The way how you hold this slingshot is, you grab it like so. A lot of people would instinctively hold it wrong, like you did, uh -huh. because they're used to handling knives. A knife would be comfortable here. But a slingshot, if you draw it out, the contact points are here and here. Mm -hmm. So this means this must be very, very uh, comfortable and ergonomic. And as you also see, the Rambone has a handle that fits even a fairly large hand like mine, but also a smaller hand like hers. As you can see, of course, there's a little bit extra handle poking out, but that does not mean that this handle would not be comfortable for her. So this is actually something that I worked really hard on to find a slingshot shape that fits all palm sizes. So how does this feel now in the hand? It feels comfortable. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And as you see, she has a rather short, only one layer band because she's obviously a beginner. Uh, and also her arms are shorter than mine. And I have a triple layer band for really heavy ammo. And that's why also my pouch is a lot larger than the one that she has. Uh, because we're also going to shoot different ammo, of course. And uh, <laughs> uh, since uh, she is a beginner, 
we will not start with steel balls because I always have people starting with paint balls or uh, some kind of dust balls and so on. Stuff that won't kill you if you accidentally kill, you know, hit your hands. Which is not going to happen, of course not, because I'm going to teach her how to shoot it right. But um, it's, a, it's a mind thing. It's a, it's a thing that, you know, your mind plays games with you. If you are afraid that you might hit your hand, you're not going to hold it steady and you're going to do things wrong. And therefore we're starting with things that are not harmful. Mm -hmm. Good. The worst thing that can happen is that you have a yellow stain on your hand. <laughs> you can handle that, right? Yeah, <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> okay, so this is our training ammo. It's actually 62 caliber pinballs. And um, as you see, they're all yellow, so sorry. No colorful variations today. <laughs> so as you already did, you put the slingshot into your left hand if you're right-handed, right? Because your right hand belongs to the pouch side. And then you put the the uh, paintball in here mm -hmm. and then you grab it very lightly between your index finger and your thumb. Mm -hmm. You can see that? Yeah. Don't punch hard because otherwise it will simply uh, pop in your fingers and that won't be very pleasant. Yeah. So only very lightly. Then you stretch out your left arm towards the target mm -hmm. and we're shooting at this uh, thing there in the catch box, you know, this metal box. So you pull this out, like so, until your knuckle of the thumb is actually uh, hitting and reaching your corner of the mouth. And then you're closing your left eye and you aim with your right eye over the tip of the fork. So you hold it sideways like so. And all you have to do then is release it the right way so that oh. it will hit your target. So the height you have to compensate a little bit, so there's a little bit of practice. But if you release it right, you will actually hit right where this point is aiming at. And it's going to take a few repetitions for you to get it right. But do you want to try? Sure. Okay. Okay. Pull it a little bit higher so that you're, you know, that you're resting your hand against the top of the, of the frame. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. Put it a little bit more. Now pull it towards your mouth until your thumb reaches the corner of your mouth. Put it here. Right. Mm -hmm. Then you aim over the top of the fork. Mm -hmm. So this metal Put this a little bit closer to your mouth so that you aim straight over the upper band. Uh -huh. Okay. And then you release it. Ah oh. She hit it. First okay. shot, she hit it. Okay, <laughs> it was not a full hit, but that was really good. Thank you. You want to try again? Yeah. You're a natural, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Again, stretch out to the corner of your mouth. Aim over the upper band. And release. Ha! Another hit. Okay, now we're getting serious. 20 millimeter steel ball. Triple layer brand set. Wow. <laughs> Did you see it punched a hole through, yeah. the, through the can? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is serious power. It's the same slingshot, but of course it's completely different simply because it's a very different band set and very different ammo. So it's a really wide range slingshot. Maria just asked me, what if you want to change the bands to something different, something stronger? Can you do it by yourself? Yes, of course. Uh, there's this little Allen key that we actually ship with this thing. You simply put it in and then you can release this, uh, you can loosen this screw and then the clip will actually give you access to the band and then you simply clamp in another band set and then you just put everything tight again and then you've exchanged your bands. So it's completely flexible and if you buy one of these in the kit it comes with steel balls, it comes with a band set and with a spare band set because at some point after so many hundreds of shots it will actually tear somewhere and then you will have to replace the bands but there is one spare set amongst it and we offer these in standard in a single layer like this one or in a double layer band set the triple layer band set that i have is for experts only and those people like myself will make their bands at home uh, to cut them exactly to their specifications okay so now we've done most of the things we wanted to do but there is the full auto experience left. Yay. <laughs> Have you ever shot something full auto? No. <laughs> like a machine gun? <laughs> um, I don't think so. No? You've never? 
So you think that you might have shot a machine gun and you cannot remember? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when I, I think was it's one of the things know. that you never forget. Once you shot something full auto, I don't think that you would ever forget that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I didn't. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe you, maybe you've been in the army or something. But I don't know. could be like many years ago, but in previous Just... life maybe. But I don't remember. <laughs> okay. But then let's get the setup ready. Yeah. So this is it. <laughs> a full auto crossbow. Wow. <laughs> As you see, it has a crossbow lint right in front, and this is actually the engine from a powerful e-bike. Wow. Actually, an e-bike that would not be street legal in Germany because it has about three times the power that you typically can have in Germany as for a street legal e-bike. But it is needed because the action is actually propelled by this. And also this e-bike has like a thumb uh, gas control. So you can actually accelerate by pressing this lever here with your thumb. Mm -hmm. And you see there is a stack of arrows in here. And actually when I put the rubber bands over it, they press down. Mm -hmm. Come a little bit back here. So, because this is actually the thumb trigger. If you press this trigger, this thing will keep shooting until it either jams or the magazine is empty. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, and then what you can do is you can actually aim it freely. Okay, because you can just, uh, yeah, almost freely if your table is solid enough. <laughs> so you can aim it freely, like so, and up and down. And when you shoot with it, all you have to do, the only thing you have to do is... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty impressive, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to fire it soon enough by yourself. I want to use it to replicate something that is probably one of the most spectacular memes on the entire internet. The machine gun thumbs up <laughs> weapon. <laughs> As you see, as you see, it has a magazine. It's actually, this one's actually belt fed and then it shoots out the likes. <laughs> and I want to, to, to use you firing this thing to replicate this meme with my full auto crossbow. Okay. <laughs> and fun. folks, we're going to put this on her Instagram as a meme. And I would love if you guys could actually subscribe to her and then try to spread the meme as good as you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're giving the clip into the public domain. So feel free to make your own gifts out of it and whatever. <laughs> okay, but before we do the meme, I think you should do a few test shots. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna step aside and you just try to shoot like three, four, five arrows into the target map. Okay. Mad. So okay. I just press here and then Right, just fire. Ah, okay. Nice. I'll have to boot it up for her first. <laughs> okay. Okay, fire at will. Off to it. <laughs> it's already dead. <laughs> How did that feel? Wow, that's very, I don't know, <laughs> um, impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and actually, as you see, it was not so hard to aim with it. Yeah. You aim with it like with the garden hose, you spray the water where you need it. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> So, how did that feel? Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> I don't know, you just like shoot and you don't think about anything. It's just like the sound of the shooting and then, I don't know, I don't even see like where it goes. So It's yeah, also it's easy, isn't it? Thing. You don't need, you, there's yeah, yeah. no strength required. You just mm -hmm. punch and then you shoot, right? Yeah, it's really <laughs> powerful. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Wow. <laughs> okay, I think it is time for our conclusion. Yeah. Okay, so we are at the end of a fun day, I think. I yes. had fun. Did you have fun? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, now it is it is your task to decide which weapon that you shot today was most fun. So, which one did you enjoy the most? <laughs> well, of course, the machine crossbow <laughs> at the end was uh, yeah, it was really impressive. Like very, um, you get so many like emotions from like uh, this powerful shooting. Um, yeah, I think that's right. Actually, Maria asked me if I would sell this to her, and I said I'm not <laughs> going to sell it to anyone because it's too dangerous. So, 
<laughs> but yeah, I think this is hard to beat. But I think it also is a little bit of competition, right? Because yeah. this is so special. So so we started with the bows. So uh, the, you know we had the three different bows. Which one did you like the most? Um, I think I like the small one the most. It was okay. a bit different from the ones we tried in the previous video. Yeah, you, you did enjoy the laser, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not too big, so it's like easier to handle, I think, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, and it looks nice. So it's I a like nice to toy, beautiful toy. Yes. Right? <laughs> and then we went over to the crossbows, and you did great with the adder crossbow. Thank you. So, and then of course the air gun. So, what do you think? Which one is your favorite? Um, like crossbow, I really like the challenge. Uh, with the, you know, when I uh, hit the can and then the water was coming out, I think <laughs> okay. that was really fun, like to have like a little bit of a challenge then you know you're very focused to hit the target uh, and um, yeah and the air gun was of course loud right but also yeah. powerful frightening it was powerful. loud and yeah different looks yeah very pro powerful and like professional like you know i don't know like i feel you know it's for almost like a military yes great <laughs> rifle, right? yes i think so too but then of course then we shot the machine gun and that blew everything else away right? yes <laughs> What do you think, guys? Which one was the most fun thing to see? I mean, you weren't able to shoot it, Maria was, but which one do you like the most? Please, please leave us a comment. And, and, and don't forget to subscribe to Maria's Instagram because we want to make her famous, don't we? Thank you, guys. <laughs> and if Maria's Instagram is going to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of the month, before the end of the month of July of 2020, then she's going to come back. I'm Yay. going to invite her back and we'll do some more fun shooting with, uh, again, very different uh, weapons. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for that. <laughs> I guess that's it for today. So, thanks then. Thank bye you. Bye. bye. <laughs> By the way, this is what Maria did to the poor target. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you destroyed it. <laughs> I know. <laughs>